four type of agent that is a simple reflex agent moral based agent goal based agent and utility based agent no human intervention are there the machine will give the response back to you whatever the question you ask depends on the knowledge what it is given to that particular chatbot supervise means someone should be there to supervise what machine is learning and what not so that is called as supervised learning hello everyone welcome to the introduction on the subject artificial intelligence and the application for the 6th semester bca according to the university of mysuru myself indu j faculty of computer science department vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru in today's session we are going to see what all the syllabus we are going to cover in this particular subject and what is a learning outcome after completion of this course what you are going to take home with you so let us see what all we have agenda of this particular session is to discuss the syllabus then to discuss what in the learning outcome what you are going to get out of this subject learning outcome how many units you have for this particular semester and then how the internal marks and the examination pattern will be distributed that is what we are going to discuss now so let us see what is the syllabus you have in artificial intelligence and the application you will be having the five units right first you will be having the introduction as a first unit what is artificial intelligence what is the agent what is the environment just a introduction about artificial intelligence you will be knowing then in the second unit problem solving by searching there are different searching techniques to solve the particular problem what are the different searching techniques we have that we'll be going to discuss in the unit 2 in the unit 3 we are going to discuss about the knowledge representation whenever say we have a intelligence the knowledge is a base for intelligence so we should know how to represent the knowledge right so in the third unit you, we are going to discuss about the knowledge representation then in the fourth unit we are going to discuss about the learning how machine is going to learn by itself making the machine intelligent right that is a core concept of artificial intelligence so in the fourth unit we are going to discuss how many types of learnings are there for the machine and then fifth unit we are going to discuss what are the application of ai where all we are using the ai how efficiently we are using the ai in a different fields so let us see what is a learning outcome of this particular syllabus or the course after completion of this course you will be knowing the gain history perspective of ai and its fundamentals how ai come into the picture who thought of giving the intelligence to the machine so what is the history behind ai artificial intelligence that all we are going to understand and then be familiar with the basic principles and the strategy of ai towards the problem solving how the machine is going to solve the problem by itself what are the strategy or the what are the principle it's going to use to solve the problem that is what you are going to understand and then understand apply the approaches of interface perceptions knowledge representation and learning how to represent the knowledge how to percept how to observe the environment how to observe what happening around you and then how machine will learn depending on the observation how will machine will going to learn depending on the knowledge what it is have that is what you are going to understand and then understand the various application where all the applications of artificial intelligence is that you are going to understand now each and every field we have a application of artificial intelligence you must be very well known about it medical medical field commerce e-commerce uh, education robotics everywhere we have a artificial intelligence uh, even designing the website even when you are creating the charts whenever you are using the excels so all the fields we are using the artificial intelligence so that you will get to know where all we have to use a artificial intelligence so this is a learning outcome what you get after you complete this course let's see with the first unit what we are going to 
study in the unit 1 we are going to study what is artificial intelligence see what is the definition of artificial intelligence what is intelligence and what is artificial intelligence that is going to give the definition for artificial intelligence then the foundations of the artificial intelligence how the artificial intelligence came into existence that is in the history of the ai and past what is there of the past in ai before ai what is present ai and what would be the future ai so that is going to discuss in the past present and the future of artificial intelligence then what is intelligent agent who is a agent who is a intelligent agent where the agent is going to work agent is going to work on the environment how many types of environments are there specifying the task environment properties of the task environment what is agent based programming how agent is related to the environment that is nothing but agent based programming how we are providing the relation between the agent and then the environment structure of the agent how we can create the agent how we can design the agent that is nothing but the structure of the agent there are different types of agents in that we are going to discuss only the four type of agent that is a simple reflex agent model based agent goal based agent and utility based agent we are going to discuss four type of agents how to design those four type of agents and what are the action those four type of agents is going to do this all will covered in the unit 1 in the unit 2 what we are going to discuss is problem solving by searching so how we are solving the real life problem while implementing the agent and then the environment and there, there are different searching techniques searching algorithms to solve the problem so we'll discuss the what all the searching algorithms or the searching uh, strategies we have and then first we have to check what is a problem and how to solve the problem with the help of agent what is a well defined problem and what is a solution for well defined problem okay so this is the basic to solve any of the problem you should know the problem to find the solution right so problem has to be defined properly to get the proper solution so then what we have is example of problems there are different types of the problem and example for searching solution for that particular problems how we are going to search the solution for the problem then uniform search strategy this is one of the search what we are using search technique what we are using to get the solution for the given problem that is uniform search strategy but for search uniform cost search in that we are going to discuss the depth first search as we have uh, discussed uh, in algorithms that is depth first search bfs and dfs similarly we are implementing the bfs and dfs in artificial intelligence also with the depth limited search also we have we have different types of search in that these are all the different strategies what we have you no know, breadth for search depth for search depth limit search iterative uh, depending depth for search and bidirectional search this falls under one type of search and another type of search what we have is greedy best for search a star search and a o star search using the heuristic search technique these all three searching techniques will be using the heuristic functions we'll discuss what is a heuristic function when we are discussing in the unit 2 next in the unit 3 what we are going to discuss is knowledge representation how we are going to represent the data in form of knowledge so knowledge based agent in there we have discussed intelligent agent now we are discussing about the knowledge based agent who can make a decision depending on his knowledge previously acquired knowledge that is called as knowledge based agent and uh, what is the logic behind using this knowledge based agents and uh, what is a propositional logic then propositional theorem proving for knowledge based agent what is the effectiveness of propositional models what we have developed using the knowledge based agent and model checking once we have developed the model how to check the knowledge based model best example what we have as a knowledge based representation is your chatbots right no human intervention are there the machine will give you the response back to you whatever the question you ask depends on the knowledge what it is given to that particular chatbot okay 
and then agent based on the propositional logic different types of logics what we are using to represent the knowledge based agents first order logic syntax and semantics of first order logic how to use the first order logic unifications and the lifting forward chain and a backward chaining how we are moving from forward chaining and also to the backward chaining using a knowledge representation this all we are going to represent a going to discuss in the unit 3 that is knowledge representation in the unit 4 we are going to discuss about learning how machine is going to learn by itself there are different learning techniques so forms of learning we are using there are three main for forms of learning supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning so here we are concentrating on supervised learning what is supervised learning using supervised learning how machine is going to learn by itself supervised means someone should be there to supervise what machine is learning and what not so that is called as supervised learning how we are going to achieve the machine learning with the help of decision tree regression and classification of the linear model we'll discuss what is regression how to classify the linear model uh, how to use a decision tree to make a decision when machine is learning and then the most important thing artificial neural network development of some algorithm artificial neural network it exactly works as a human brain how the neurons is connected in a human brain we are trying to connect the knowledge of the machine with the neural network so that's what we are going to discuss in the unit 4 and support vector machine these are some of the learning techniques that is in especially the supervised learning techniques what we can implement to make machine learn okay this all we are going to discuss in unit 4 in unit 5 where all the application of ai is there we can use a ai in natural language processing natural language means processing means conversion of one language to the other language and uh, whatever we speak will get the response back from the machine machine will understand naturally what we are speaking and it will respond back to the same back to us in the same manner that is natural language processing text classification and information retrieval we are classifying the text conversion from one text to english to canada or canada to dutch like that different types of texts are there conversion text conversion we can do and we can access the information right from the text conversion speech recognition is the best example is your alexa or google siri right whatever we are speaking it will understand that speech it recognizes the speech search for that particular concept in a database and it, it will respond back to us in the form of speech only so that is speech recognition image processing image processing most of the time nowadays we are using in the medical field to diagnose the images scan images or ctc images mri images these images will be processed and give the diagnosis as soon as possible so that is image processing most of the time uh, medical field we are currently using in a large manner the image processing and computer vision computer vision is nothing but what we have have a sensors now uh, camera is a sensor using camera we are capturing the images so that acts as in a computer vision we are providing the vision to the machine to understand what happening in the surrounding right so that is what the computer vision and you know uh, in the robotics definitely we are using the artificial intelligence in the robotic from not only the human eye for small small robot also we are implementing the artificial intelligence so how we are going to discuss all these things in the unit five so this is all about your five units of your syllabus then how the internal marks distribution will be internal marks will be conducted for 30 marks from unit 1 and unit 2 you will be having for the first internal unit 3 you will be having for the second internals we will be taking an average of two internal not the best of two average of the two it's compulsory to attend all the two internals so how the marks question paper pattern will be as we are having the five units in five units you will be having each part will be having one or two questions so you either you can answer one question or you can answer two question it will be for 10 marks one part will be for 10 marks similarly you will be having from unit one so you will be having question number three or question number four for 10 marks from unit 
to from uh, question number 5 or question number 6 for 10 marks from unit 3. Similarly, from each unit, you will be having a 10 marks question that is for 5 units, 50 marks question and another 2 marks question from 5 units. 2 marks question from 5 units that is for part B 10 marks. So, this is how your pattern of question paper will be. So, total you will be writing the final exam for 60 marks. So, this is all about the introduction and the syllabus of artificial intelligence. Some of the books what you can refer for the artificial intelligence is some of the book that is artificial intelligence modern approach, a second edition Pearson uh, publication and machine learning. This is importantly for unit 3 where we are searching for supervised learning. So, this you can refer for unit 3 and one more what we have is artificial intelligence by data publications for your remaining unit 4 and 5. So, these are some of the books what you can refer for your syllabus. Thank you.